how are we to uh, enforce law when a doctrine is preached that, that one man's conscience may tell him that the law is unjust when other men's conscience don't tell them that? I think you enforce it and I think you deal with it by not allowing anarchy to develop. I do not believe in defying the law. As many of the segregationists do, I do not believe in evading the law, as many of the segregationists do. Uh, the fact is that most of the segregationists and racists that I see are not willing to suffer enough for their beliefs in segregation, and uh, they are not willing to go to jail. I think the chief norm for guiding the situation is the willingness to accept the penalty. And I don't think any society can call an individual irresponsible who breaks the law and willingly accepts the penalty if conscience tells him that that law is unjust. And I think that uh, this is a long tradition in our society. It's a long tradition in biblical history. Uh, Medchak uh, uh, and Abednego broke an unjust law, and they did it because they had to be true to a higher moral law. Uh, the early Christians practiced civil disobedience in a superb manner. Academic freedom would not be a reality today if it had not been for Socrates and if it had not been for Socrates' willingness to practice civil disobedience. And I would say that in our own history, there's nothing that expresses uh, a massive civil disobedience any more than the Boston Tea Party, and yet we give this to our young people and our students as a part of the great tradition of our nation. So I think we are in good company when we break unjust laws, and I think those who are willing to do it and accept the penalty are those who are part of the saving of the nation.